Master Brock, I've told you you were coming. Warren Sidoru, a pleasure. I'm grateful for your assistance. The situation is growing desperate. The Republic picked an unfortunate time to drive the Empire off Balmora. It's made our team's mission that much harder. Military reinforcements ought to make our job easier, not harder. My strengths lie in observation, subtlety, and negotiation. Not exactly welcome talents on the battlefield. Balmora is home to the largest weapon manufacturing plants in the galaxy. Half the munitions used in the last war originated on this world. The Empire develops horrific new instruments of destruction here. Balmora's creations have killed countless innocents. If the Republic has come to repay those deaths, good. I lost my taste for war decades ago. I'm only here to secure our team's objective. We've learned the Empire has a cloaking device prototype at one of Balmora's advanced weapon factories. It's the same technology hiding the Emperor's fortress. If we obtain that cloaking device prototype, we can understand how it works, develop a way to see through it. How did the Empire develop cloaking device technology? They didn't. Intelligence indicates the prototype is alien in design. Possibly Rakata or Gree. Finding the cloaking device prototype is almost impossible thanks to the invasion. We need experienced native guides to sort through the chaos. Almora has a well-established civilian resistance. Their spy network's knowledge of the Empire would be invaluable. Your tone indicates there's a complication. War breeds chaos. Chaos breeds confusion. And confusion breeds mistrust. Unfortunately, the Resistance doesn't trust the Republic. Despite my best negotiations, they remain uncooperative. Can't say I blame them. The Empire's driven us off this planet twice already, leaving the Resistance holding the bag. Republic Command just intercepted a distress call. A Resistance medical facility is about to be overrun. I'd go, but an Imperial armor column's in my way. I need you to save that medical facility. I'll break that siege. Where am I going? I'm sending the medical facility's location. I don't know what you'll be facing there, but do whatever you must to save the Resistance fighters. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. May the Force be with you. Jedi bought us some time. Get our wounded to the secure area. Move it! I'm the chief medic. Just call me Doc. I appreciate your hard work, Gorgeous. But there's a whole nest of colicoids coming. No time to evacuate. I'd never let anything bad happen to a nice guy like you. Not even if I asked nicely? We've got dozens of wounded here. Hope you're not one of those junior Jedi. Do we have to save him too? I'll head for the secure area and stabilize casualties. Here they come! The Caracords will eat us alive if the tunnels stay open. You can collapse them with your Jedi tricks, right? Get that. We are alive. Nice work. A lot of wounded here. You're the only doctor? Honey, I do the work of ten medics. And that's on a bad day. Say, you might be wounded and not know it. Let me check you over. Hands off. 
Does anyone fall for that line? Just the lucky ones. I don't know what genius picked a colicoid breeding ground for our medical facility, but we need to evacuate quick. Problem is, my critical patients are too fragile to move, and the Empire stole my trauma kits. I won't let the Empire endanger your people's lives. How can I get what you need? Our scouts say the Imperials sent my trauma kits to their frontline troops on the plains nearby. The depots will be heavily guarded, but I'm sure you'll figure something out. Just hurry. These people don't have much time. I got as many trauma kits as I could find. Beautiful. The, uh... Kits look good, too. He's a walking hormone. Apologies for being late. My detour around those Imperial forces took longer than expected. Forgive my bluntness, but you appear to be a Jedi who's seen many battles. Mementos from my previous disagreements with Sith. I was quite the warrior once. Thought evil was something I could conquer with my lightsaber. I've conquered quite a bit of evil with my lightsaber. I remember that feeling of accomplishment when an enemy fell, but don't be deceived. Peace cannot take root in fear, nor be nourished with blood. Master Braga taught me that. You've done well saving this facility and its patients. The Resistance has already agreed to help us find the cloaking device prototype. The super advanced gadget you're after? The Resistance can narrow down its location, but we need access to the enemy's computer network. The only connection point is at Sobrik, which is covered in Imperial forces. Troop legions, walkers, heavy bombers. Fun place. Sounds pretty important. Why all the protection? It's the manufacturing capital of the planet. All the best guns get made there. I believe we can diminish the Imperial forces without firing a shot. The Empire has several comm relays around Sobrik tied to other Imperial strongholds. An early warning system. Great. When we attack, they can summon more troops to kill us. Or we make the Imperials think we're attacking their other strongholds. We'll infiltrate those calm relays, upload fake alerts, and siphon away Sobrik's defenders, leaving it vulnerable. I doubt the Empire leaves its calm relays unguarded. The calm relays are protected by advanced Imperial war droids. Very fast, extremely deadly. I'm no longer quick enough to defeat those war droids. But you are. Then the Resistance can raid the Empire's computer network. We'll figure out where they've stashed that whatchama thingy at Yewan. Use this data pad on the comm relays to upload the fake emergency signals. I'll find a good vantage spot to watch Sobrik and keep you informed of our progress. Be careful out there. Just as I hoped, the Empire mobilized an entire armored battalion. Keep up the good work, my friend. The Imperials are exceeding my expectations. Sobrik's forces have been cut by almost two-thirds. Keep up the pressure. Sobrik's defenses have been reduced to the bare minimum. The resistance team is heading in. I think it's best if you follow and keep an eye on them. Too much is riding on this mission. Sounds like you don't have full faith in the resistance. The data they're recovering is essential to finding the cloaking device prototype. This may be our only chance. The resistance team identified a vehicle depot as their best access point to the Imperial computer system. Transmitting the grid coordinates now. I'll continue monitoring Sobrik. If I see trouble, I'll alert you immediately. Keep our new friends safe. Over and out. Have you accessed the Imperial network? Already downloaded everything. We were leaving when the Imperial medical transport landed for refueling. Avers and his men opened fire. 
Belmer and scum. Murderers. My men are dying. We'll never reach the med center now. You just made my season, imp. Bet you've got some choice gear on that transport. Greedy vermin. These soldiers were defending Balmora. The only thing Balmora needs defending from is you. Still, they're dying. We can't just stand by and watch. Do you read? Color card nests stirred up by fighting. Waves of them headed for Sobrik's outskirts. Leave now or you'll be surrounded. Colicoids? They'll rip us apart! Every man for himself! Move! We can't flee! Those beasts will kill us! I don't abandon wounded men, even Imperials. Then again, being eaten wasn't on my agenda for today. I can save these soldiers if someone keeps the colicoids off me. We can't save everyone. The Imperials will have to fend for themselves. Take these med kits. They might help. Spare us your charity. We'll die with honor. Leaving here would be a lot easier if there was another transport. Actually, I did see a speeder bike outside. Only seats one. Hmm. I'll find my own way out. I'm not sitting in your lap. That goes double for me. Your friend Warren's at these coordinates. I'll meet you there. Good luck. Glad to see everyone made it back safely. Tell that to the Imperials we abandoned. Their colicoid dinner buffet. Those Imperials wouldn't have hesitated to feed us to the colicoids. Doesn't matter. We left wounded people to die. Every loss of life diminishes the Force. That's why our mission must not fail. This is Nicolan Cord, one of the top Resistance leaders. He analyzed the data we obtained from Sobrik, found us a lead. One of our spies was captured weeks ago, attempting to steal what might be the Empire's cloaking device project. The data revealed where she's being held. How long has the Resistance known about the cloaking device? Long enough. It became an object of interest for obvious reasons. We believe she's inside an Imperial Tactical Operations base. Heavily fortified, protected by a regiment of troops. Well, that's where I come in. Colonel Finley commands the Republic's 5th Expeditionary Force. He's agreed to assist our operation. Trouble is, if that Tech Ops base crew sees my troops marching in, they'll close the blast shields. Those shut, there's no getting them open. My weapon can cut through anything, even a blast shield. No time. If the enemy summons reinforcements while we're stuck outside, we'd be trapped. One of you Jedi could slip inside, disable the blast shields before they close, then the base would be ours. We'd have to distract that Imperial Regiment, create an opening. My troops provide quite a distraction. The Resistance must be part of this. Our spy won't talk if I'm not there. I'll escort the Resistance. That leaves you to penetrate the base and deactivate those blast shields ahead of our arrival. Get your forces ready, Colonel. We leave immediately. I can guarantee an enthusiastic response. I'll prepare my forces to move out. That resistance leader. Let's keep an eye on him. His spy is the key to our victory, and he knows it. Get inside the Empire's base and deactivate those blast shields. We'll be waiting for your signal. Bad news, my friend. The Empire just landed heavy war droids in the region. Hunter killers. The droids are patrolling the territory between you and the objective. If they detect you heading for that Imperial base, they'll raise an alert. the base's blast shields closing before you get there. 
You'll have to disable those war droids quickly. If I destroy the war droids, the enemy will know I'm coming. They'll just assume it's an attack on the war droids. By the time they realize your true objective, it'll be too late. I'm sending the latest reconnaissance data on the war droids' positions. Eliminate them and continue on to the Imperial base. Never a dull moment. We should visit war zones more often. There, you have the data. Be careful. Over and out. I've disabled the base's blast shields. It's wide open for you. We're almost there. But Colonel Finley detects a reactor surge coming from the base. Looks like the base commander initiated a self-destruct sequence. You don't have much time to stop it. Shut down all the security consoles in there as fast as you can. Hurry! Self-destruct aborted. The base is ours, Warren. Send in the troops. What are you doing here? I'm busting you out, sweetheart. Where else would I be? I didn't see you in here while I was fighting half the Imperial Army. I had your back the whole time. We thought we'd lost you, Metal. She's healthy as ever. Life signs green across the board. Why would a Resistance spy who was captured by the Empire weeks ago still be in perfect health? An excellent observation. I doubt the Empire appreciated your attempted theft of its cloaking device technology. I never laid my hands on it. The Empire shipped it off-world when the Republic invaded. We all know that's a lie. The truth will come out, Metal. It's better if you reveal it. When Nicolin hears the truth, he'll want to kill me. Promise you'll stop him. We can't make assurances until we know what this is about. I should have let the Imperials kill me. Take it easy. Whatever this is, we'll work it out. The Empire offered me a deal. Cooperate or die slowly. I told them everything about the Resistance. Names, locations, plans. I knew it. The Empire has been slaughtering our people using your information! Give them something they can use. Tell them about the cloaking device. The Empire is studying it at the Balmoran Arms Factory. It's there, I promise. For all we know, you're sending us into a trap. I cooperated with the Imperials. I didn't become one. You know the price of betrayal. Wait, she has enemy intelligence. She could be an asset. Cooperating with me doesn't erase your crimes to the Resistance. They'll decide your fate. Go easy on her. You might have done the same in her position. I promise her trial will be short. Let's go, Metal. I've had my fill of this blasted war. We need to get the Empire off Balmora for good. The Balmoran Arms Factory is the Empire's biggest stronghold. Assaulting this base was one thing, but taking on that fortress... I know that place inside out. Need a shortcut through that Rancor's den? Well, I'm your man. What I've seen, you Resistance people aren't too dependable. I'm not the Resistance, I'm Doc. Dependable is my middle name. His knowledge and expertise will come in handy. Take him with you. Hey, if the Imperials attack with grenades, you can throw Doc on them. Colonel Finley and I will coordinate a full offensive against the Empire. We'll clear you a path to the Balmoran Arms Factory. The rest is up to you. 
Get that cloaking device prototype at all costs. May the Force be with us. Turbo lift's locked down, but don't worry. Slicing Imperial security codes is a hobby of mine. Give me two secs. Uh-oh. Someone's coming down the turbo lift. Get behind me, beautiful. I'll protect you. Doc, I thought the imps had killed you. You too, Remy? How you making out, old fella? Same as always. Pretend to cooperate with the Imperials and stab them in the back every chance I get. The Empire's about to lose Balmora. Start stabbing. Don't have to tell me twice. We're in a bind, pal. You know any way into the secure labs? Sure. The Imps put me on waste management. Gave me a data card to get in there. It's all yours. Thing is... There's guards every two meters in there. That's why I travel with a Jedi, Remy. You're a meat shield, Doc. Nothing more. She's crazy about me. Now get out of here, old man. Hello. Are you there? It's Colonel Finley. We have a new problem. The Resistance has learned of Imperial research into weapons that use cloaking device technology. The enemy can hide their missiles and bombs from detection. Imagine the carnage. Have they successfully tested such a weapon, or is it just speculation? What difference does it make? We still need to look into it. You must recover all the Empire's research data on this project and deliver it to us. There's bound to be a computer hub up there somewhere. This may be our only opportunity. Do everything you can. Finlay out. the files about the Empire's stealth weapon research, but something's wrong. They're starting to erase themselves. I use TurboLift data cards all the time when I was here. They work with computers, too. Maybe we can transfer the files onto the data card Remy gave us. Copy them before they get deleted. Work like a charm. Pretty amazing, huh, gorgeous? Don't break your arm patting yourself on the back. You're so feisty. I like feisty. <gasps> you suppose the Empire knows we're here? enough. We're almost done here. Nicolin, what are you doing? The cloaking device prototype belongs to the people of Balmora, not the Republic. This is our world, our war, and our victory. The Empire was on the verge of wiping out the Resistance before we got here. We spent decades fighting for this planet after the Republic rolled over for the Empire. Now you're back to loot our resources? This prototype may be the most valuable technology on Balmora. You're not taking it. Aren't the Jedi all about justice? If that's true, let us leave with what's rightfully ours. The Jedi will return this technology once we're done with it. Please hand it over. The Jedi will return this once they're done with it. Hand it over, Avers. I'd offer you transportation, but I'm afraid the shuttle only seats two. Good luck. That's smooth docking. One thing's for sure, I'm not working for the Resistance anymore. Got a spare bunk on your ship for a superb combat medic? I could use a talented doctor. Until one shows up, I'll settle for you. Keep working on your sense of humor. It's almost there. Warren, I have the cloaking device prototype. After the blood that's been spilled today, that's a ray of hope. I'm returning to the Republic base where you first landed. Meet me there. I have
have the cloaking device prototype and the Empire's weapon research data. We've denied the enemy a considerable technological edge and broken its hold on Balmora. I'll send the research data to Coruscant. There's a Dr. Godera waiting to review it. Friend of yours, I understand. Please, give the doctor my regards. I will. It's been a pleasure working with you. Somehow I expected such an important device to be more impressive. I'll deliver this to Master Braga and the Council on Tython. Master Braga's faith in you is well placed. I'm honored to serve with you. The feeling is mutual. Be well, my friend. You should contact Master Braga when you return to your ship. He's eager to hear from you. Farewell. Master Braga, the mission to Balmora was a success. We have the cloaking device prototype. Outstanding. I never doubted you for a moment. How did you find working with my old friend Warren? I've always been impressed by his keen insights. Warren has a talent for finding the truth. Those gifts are vital to achieving our ultimate goal. You've brought us a great leap closer to finding the Emperor. But there's a new problem. I've lost contact with my Padawan under unusual and dangerous circumstances. You're uniquely qualified to deal with this. What is it that makes me so special? Your former student, Kira, has much in common with mine. Sejar is no ordinary Padawan. He was once a Sith Lord, a member of the Empire's Dark Council. We dueled on Dantooine, fought for three days. I won when I convinced him to abandon the dark side and train as a Jedi. You turned a Dark Council member to the Jedi? Incredible. You're no stranger to redeeming the enemy. Thanks to you, the former Lord Craven makes great strides with the Jedi. Sajar has fully embraced the Jedi way. Whatever has happened, it isn't his fault. He was guarding a Republic base on the planet Quesh when the Empire invaded and attacked our territories. You trusted Sajar to guard a Republic base in a war zone? When I sent him, Quesh was peaceful, quiet, a good place for meditation while also serving the Republic. I just spoke with a soldier at Sajar's base. It's surrounded by Imperial forces and my Padawan refuses to act. Without Jedi help, that base will fall. My Padawan won't answer his holo. Sounds like he's afraid of something, but what? Only a strong Jedi can help Sajar and save the base. I'm transmitting the planet's coordinates now. Master Braga, out. Go. He needs you. And you need him. Master? Why would I need Sajar? Uh, you alright? The hollow transmission's over. This sounds urgent. We should go to Quesh right away. <laughs> 